What up? It's your boy Zeos back here with another video today. And yesterday, I apologize for not uploading. I was just way too tired. I have that disgusting 22 hour work shift. So I apologize. But today, as you can see, look at our, you know, beautiful female hero portraits. We've got that <laughs> coordinated hairstyle of purple, pink, and yellow. We're going for that rainbow theme today. So it's been asked almost daily, you know, what about this hero with that hero in this rainbow aura? I get this question the most right now. So I'm going to discuss some of the current endgame PvP meta rainbow comps. So there's so many variants, of course. So we're going to go into that. And before I do so, I just want to address that I have like zero bias right now because I, as you guys know, I don't really play my main account. I don't really spend on it either lately and I just don't really care. I'm all for whatever works and whatever is appealing in my eyes. When I see big numbers, when I see wins, when I see, um, you know, game changing moves, that's all I'm about. That's all I get hyped and excited for. So I'm going in here with no bias. I'm just going to give a straight up review. I can't include the 150 fights that I've done in the last two weeks that I've personally watched over and over again, but I tried my best to edit it down. <laughs> it took me about eight to 10 hours to edit this, so give me some credit. So if the first clip you're seeing is a flame strike with the cruise combo, right? And as you can see, it's not working too well because um, flame strike is not getting enough stacks. And flame strike is going to be the main burst damage hero right now. As you can see, I slow it down and you got the cruise weaken and flame strikes kind of just you know hang in there and release but it's just not enough because of the five stacks of you know attack reduction you got one from sia's active as well as two valkyrie attacks so it's just the amount of attack reduction with crews in combination is just not enough and <laughs> As you see, Sia's are just locking down, <laughs> you know, high attack heroes. So that's how it goes. But, but don't ignore Flame Strike, guys. The second lineup is Flame Strike with Kuthuga. And wow, I mean, the success rate for redemption that I had was over at least 60 to 70% win rate in offense. And in defense, we've actually fared a little bit better. But the thing is, check this out, right? We got the horse combo and followed up by Flame Strikes Nuke. And although she's getting five stacks, or not, I mean, technically it's three attack reduction from Double Valkyrie as well as Seal Active, she's still able to one shot a couple heroes, especially the squisher ones, right? As you saw because of the amount of stacks she has. Right now, she has Reach over out. 70 stacks and that beautiful burst, it's just beautiful. But however, because of the power of redemption and the double bell range, death and the heal, as well as in combination with the deer, Valkyries are still able to clean around Cthuga, but the problem is Cthuga just cannot be killed. But anyways, that's another topic. I don't want to really talk about redemption. I have done so, and there's going to be another video on redemption alone. So I want to focus on the rainbow comp. And to my surprise, Flame Strike with Cthuga and Horus with Michelle and Valkyrie and Min just worked so well in defense as well as in offense. I was surprised, guys. Even though she was taking so much damage from Sia, she was able to dish out so much damage being built offensively. She has the crit stone as well as the staff punisher of the immortal. So I believe that the, the individual on the right, which I will not name, <laughs> he could be improved this comp a little bit better by incorporating um, a flame strike that is a little bit more hybrid, like a um, holy damage stone, as well as magic stone sword, which I think the player can afford to use on flame strike because he's not using a Sia or any other hero that really benefits from it. So as you can see, I'm getting another loss here because of Cthulhu being unable to be killed, right? And that's why he is such a great hero right now in the current meta in the defenses. But check out those heals for Bellrain. I know it's a little, you know, rigged because it's 15 rounds, but yeah, still. And that also shows you that Cthulhu is not going to be the main damage dealer because all that can be healed with a bell ring or two. And there are times where Flame Strike will just not work, right? Or you guys would say, maybe use a bell ring instead of Michelle. But the thing about Rainbow is that not one combination rules all, 
all right i know this sounds frustrating especially for those for these players that are featured in the video and there's at least seven or eight players that i'm featuring today and they spend so much money <laughs> trying to be you know caught up in the rainbow aura and i guess that's healthy for the game but and it's healthy for me to test it out but i mean in their frustration the rainbow aura is very versatile it's a very good lineup and there's so many combinations in the current end game meta wow that is very pro right now because there's so many um variables and viable comps that's a good thing that's a good thing instead of one comp ruling all but it has that price of costing a lot in upkeep and make making sure you have different combination of heroes as you can see you have two rainbow comms going at it and you're gonna see jara just doing some work and the guys on the right side they're in separate guild and they always ask what our jara is running they're asking what stone what artifact <laughs> do you guys see yeah, that you know, I, I didn't get a good look at that what just happened? So Valkyrie did that active, that exploded some heroes and that caused a main nuclear chain reaction. That is awesome. But yeah, they ask in world chat about our Jara and Jara sometimes does like 20 to 40 million damage. So Jara is not really out of this game right now, right? So you can, so what I mean by having a high upkeep in the rainbow aura, you need to hold on to a lot of heroes. If you really care about having a 90 percentile win ratio or win rate <laughs> in offense, especially offense right defense you can't really control it but because you're not switching your comp every second but in offense to have at least 90 percent win rate against gve as well as other fellow rainbows and redemption you need to have all assortment of heroes in each faction for example in the light faction you need to have michelle as well as bell Rain to switch out in the shadow faction like i mentioned about jara you need to have jara as well as horus because horus is the new toy and the new thing to go after because he does a lot of consistent damage as you see in all these fights but the thing about horus that i want to kind of sidetrack again is that horus does not win games he does a lot of damage but with michelle even michelle or even Bro, with bellarine it's Bro. enough healing to um you know outsource horus's damage so I'm going to go over what the big threats are then in Rainbow. The big threats are, as you saw, was Flame Strike as well as Sia in terms of what I was facing with Redemption. So if their Sia is alive, right? As you see, my Bell Reigns will die, my Sia's will die, and my pure focus is to kill their Sia. If I can kill their Sia with having one Sia left in the Redemption comp, then I win. But if in the case of for example, I'm fighting a Cthulhu comp, right? And I don't kill Dercia or Dercia kills Arcia, then Redemption is gonna lose. So for Redemption, it's all about keeping that seal alive. Of course, other heroes are important as well. But yeah, that's how it works. For Rainbow, you still need to have, like I said, for Fortress, you're going to need Sia, you're going to need Valentino. Round for um, Dark Faction, you're going to need Mim as well as Omivore. And in terms of Omivore clips, that's going to be in the part two of the video as well as King Barton. And speaking of King Barton, you need to have a King Barton as well as Cruz to be just versatile in the Rainbow Aura, right? So pretty much you need to spend thousands to have that high win rate. There's nothing that is going to win all the games. Like you're seeing Redemption, I'm trying to include clips of Redemption losing one game and Redemption winning, but Redemption, even though it is a very good aura for end game PvP, it's not going to have a 90% win rate. No matter how you do it or what combination you use, I've used double Sia's, I've used double uh, Bell Reigns, I've used double Michelle's even, I've used one Sia, one Valentino, and it's going to vary for every opponent. Same goes for Rainbow. Like I said, there's so many different combinations, like having a Horus or a Jara, that the there's no one size fits all. <laughs> so if you don't care about spending like a Megalodon, if you're just a whale or a dolphin and you've reached the Rainbow Aura, just accept that you know your comp is good it's great but to be able to win everything you need to have all the newer heroes pretty much including flame strike from the past all right that's my conclusion rainbow is great i love fighting against rainbow i love seeing what works well but as a redemption player 
as a fellow other rainbow player it's just different right some comps i have issues with as a redemption some comps i don't have issues with on the rainbow that i tested on right so it just really depends like the funniest thing is even the Kamath DA combo can slaughter me about 40% or 50% of the time as redemption. I know on paper, it, it seems like DA Kamath is easy, but it's just not the case. And it varies for every comp, like I'm saying. Um, it's not always Belrain is the best for Rainbow. It's not always Michelle is the best. It's not always Sia is the best or Valentino is the best, right? So you guys, it depends on who you're fighting and who you're defending against, and if you have access to all, then you're in good shape. I hope you guys enjoy some clips. I slowed it down, did edit some parts so that you guys can break it down and watch it again. So tomorrow, guys, I'm going to cover the um, Idol Heroes live convention event. They did reveal and talk more about what's coming with the future of the game. They did announce the Dark Hero. They did announce the um, enable changes, the passive that you can alter. And there's like a test server coming up. So I'll be covering that in full detail tomorrow. Hopefully, <laughs> no promises yet, but it'll be my next video. We'll be finishing this Rainbow Aura series in the second part coming soon as well. Have a great fun-packed day or night, wherever you guys are. I love you guys. Hope to see you guys soon. Peace.